Habiters, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Habiter Daniel, and this is our extra math challenge for today. Um, grade 9 math, part 4, module 1, trigonometric function. In this module, um, we will be dealing with the three basic trigonometric functions, um, which are namely sine, cosine, and tangent. So, um, in order to solve this function, um, we will need to remember the so ka toa. So, so here means sine. S means sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. O is opposite and H is hypotenuse. So, K here means cosine is equal to A which is, which means adjacent and H which means hypotenuse. Oops, sorry. Hypotenuse. And TOA here means tangent is equal to O opposite and A over adjacent. So in order to solve the functions sine, cosine, and tangent, we will first need to remember the SOCA TOA which um, means this equations. So, um, um, let's have an example. So, what if we will use in this figure one a as our reference? Wait, oh, no. So, if A here is our reference and we were going, we are going to find the function, the ratio of the function sine A, we're going to find sine A, um, remember that in Sokatoa, sine is sine A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, now, we will need to identify which is, which here is the opposite and hypotenuse of our angle A. So, this is A. And the opposite of our angle A is 16. So, sine A is equal to 16. And our hypotenuse, remember, my cohabitors, that the hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle. And the hypotenuse is always the opposite of the 90 degrees angle in a right triangle triangle. So, our hypotenuse here, mga cohabitors, is the longest side. So, where is, a uh, which here is our longest side? Our longest side here is 34. And our hypotenuse here is opposite of the right angle. So, we can say that 34 here is our hypotenuse. So, sine A is equal to 1634. So, since we have now 16 over 34, we will need to reduce it to its lowest term. By dividing both numerator and denominator by 2. So, 16 divided by 2 and we have 8 
over 34 divided by 2 and we have 17. So 8 over 17 here multihabitors is the ratio of our function sine a. So what if um, we are going to find uh, we were we were going to use C as our reference angle and we have sine C and we I, I mean we are going to find sine C. So just like before sine is opposite over hypotenuse and next we were we are going to identify or determine the opposite of the angle C. So the opposite of our angle C here is 30. So sine C is equal to 30 over our hypotenuse is always the longest side and um, the opposite of our right angle. So our hypotenuse is still 34. So next, we are going to reduce this to its simplest term. So, um, we are, so we will divide this by 2, both numerator and denominator. So, 30 divided by 2, and we have 15. And 34 divided by 2, and we have 17. So, um, what if we were going, uh, we are going to find the ratios of the other trigonometric function um, other trigonomet uh, trigonometric function than C is sine so um, what if we have cosine A so just like what we did before Remember in Sokatoa, Ka means cosine A is equal to adjacent. Oh, this is Toa. Cosine A means adjacent over hypotenuse. So, next we will do is determine the um, the adjacent side of our reference angle A. So the adjacent side of our reference angle A here is 30. So cosine A is equal to 30 over our hypotenuse is always the longest side and opposite of the right angle, so it's 34. So Reduce it to lowest term and we have 15 over 17. So 15 over 17 here is the ratio of our function cosine A. So um, let's move to, let's try tangent. So what if we will use C here as our reference angle? In our function, tan C is equal to, remember in the Sokatoa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So next is we will determine the opposite of the angle C. So the opposite of the angle C here is 30. So our opposite here is 30. So adjacent of the angle C is 16. So next is we will reduce this into lowest term. So 30 divided by 16. At 30 over 16, we will divide it by 2 to make it to reduce it into its lowest term we have 30 divided by 2 we have 15 and 16 divided by 2 is 8 so 
15 over 8 here is our ratio, our trigonometric function, tan C. Um, so, we still have here figure 2 and 3. So, if you want mga cohabitors, try solving um, sine x here. Um, so, if you want to solve, first, you just need to pause the video. So, sine x. In our SOKATOA, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, our opposite of our angle x here is 32. So, you have 32 here. We'll write 32. And our hypotenuse is the longest side and the opposite of the right angle. So, our hypotenuse here in the figure x, y, z is 40. So, reduce it into its lowest term. To reduce it in, to its lowest term, we will divide it in the numerator and in the denominator. So, 32 divided by 8 and we have 4. And 40 divided by 8 when we have 5. So, 4 over 5 here is the ratio of our trigonometric function sine x. So, let's try tan, uh, let's try cosine x. Um, maybe let's use another reference angle other than x. So, let's try y next. So, we have cosine y. So, cosine in the SOKATOA is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, um, next is we will determine the adjacent of the angle y. The adjacent of the angle y is 32. Our hypotenuse is always the longest side, 40. So, reduce it to its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by 8, and we have 4 over 5. So, 4 over 5 is the ratio of our function cosine y. Um, next, let's, let's try tangent. So, let's use y as our reference angle again. So, tangent y is, in Sokatoa, is opposite over adjacent. So, the opposite of our angle y is 24. And the adjacent of our angle y is 32. Then reduce it into its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by 8. And we have 3 over 4. So 3 over 4 is the ratio of our trigonometric function tan gen y. So um, if you want to find the trigonometric ratios of our third figure, just pause the video. And... Um, Try checking if, and then play the video if you want to check if your answer is correct. So, um, let's have sine Q. Let's find the ratio of sine Q. So, again, in the SOKATOA, we have uh, um, opposite over hypotenuse. So, our, the opposite of our angle Q is 48, and the hypotenuse is 50. So, divide, I reduce it into its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by its greatest common factor, which is 2. So, 48 divided by 2, and we have 24, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. So, 24 over 25 here is the ratio of our 
ang trigonometric function sine cube. So, let's move to cosine. Let's solve cosine cube next. So, we have here cosine cube. The so katoa cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, the adjacent of our angle Q here is 14. And the hypotenuse is 50. To reduce it to its lowest term, um, we will find, uh, we are supposed to determine the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator. And its greatest common factor is 2. So, for, divide 14 and 15. 50 by 2 and we have 7 over 25. So 7 over 25 here now is our ratio of our trigonometric function cosine q. So last is a last is tangent. Um let's use tangent um P as our reference. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So let's determine the opposite of our tangent. I, I mean of our angle P here. So the opposite of our angle P is 14 and its adjacent is 48. Reduce it to its slowest term. And its greatest common factor is 2, so we will divide both numerator and denominator by 2, and we have 7 over 24. So 7 over 24 is the ratio of our trigonometric function, tan P. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. So peace out. Oh.